The fence is all being set up then for the jump off of this international stairway qualifier at the south of England. Five going forward to the jump off. Ryan Prater with Otage. He carries four faults through from the first round. Vicky Tullock, Peter Charles with two, and Jeff Luckett. The first away, Ryan Prater with his ride. Ryan, who comes through from the first round. Under the system of the competition, it's a minimum of five to come forward to round two, or all the clears. In this case, it was four clears, and Ryan with the fastest of the four fault rounds. It means his ranking takes him into the jump off, but with four faults already on the card, had his work cut out. Bob Ellis really testing the riders to the max. At this stage in this second round, the fence is well over five foot. And again, we're taking them at speed, so it demands accuracy and real talent from horse and jockey. Down the double. And, uh, Bob putting some real, what we'd call international turns, if you like. Ryan putting his foot to the floor all the way. Well, A time of 53.08 as they cross the line. They carry forward the four faults from the first round. Jumping clear in round two, but four faults in total. 53.08 for Ryan Prater and Otage. Now to a lady down from the north of England. It's Vicky Tullock and Solijet. Vicky with this very good horse that she's produced all the way through the young horse classes. Now stepping up to this international level. In fact, taking part in her first international competition out in France in Barbizon. Vicky with just the one top horse in her string. This one that she's taken through but she's developed it well and is very very rarely out of the prize money and again this series really suited to her if she can finish up in the top few come the end of the series at the Royal Berkshire show she could gain some very valuable rider ranking points to take her up towards that top 10 with just the one horse in the string that's very very valuable to her little horse that does maneuver well little like opportunity B over the line in 56.94 for Vicky Tullock. Jumps clear once again, so puts herself in with a chance. And now to Peter Charles, the first of two rides for Peter. Merkers at Rupeda. We've seen a lot of Peter Charles on Canterbanter this season, but mainly in foreign shores. Finished the leading rider out in Florida in the early part of the season in Wellington. Picked up well over $75,000 for that came home with several hundred thousand dollars in prize money a great chance here at the south of england show to see him in action he was also part of our team out in uh, st gallen in switzerland been a very consistent rider as part of the nation's cup team in 2009 so far and just showing the kind of talent he has by taking two through to the jump off and again, this series a great chance to keep his horses tuned up for international competition. He'll be looking ahead to be part of the team in uh, Arkan very shortly. 53-36 the time. So Peter Charles takes the lead with Merkers uh, Rupadar with still another ride to come. But a busy schedule for Peter. How does he cope with top class competition? A lot of planning, good organiser, good secretary squeezing in as many days as possible uh, as we can you know to jump i was meant to be here yesterday but i got outvoted by my three children to the sports day <laughs> and that's just trying to fit everything in you know 24 7 and it, that's how it is with us it's very hard going on the international circuit but certainly some very big rewards as peter's had this year now to his second ride it is uh, merkers pal mal this is the former ride of scottish rider andy hamilton Peter taken this one on in the last few seasons. This was the horse that finished top in America. Won a very big Grand Prix class out there. It has certainly been the mainstay of Peter String for the last couple of seasons. Leads the way at the moment on Rupert R. But again, eating up the ground in these big international arenas. The ring at the south of England, very much reminiscent of an international horse show. Big galloping rings absolutely perfect going all the way and this is why our riders want to be a part of this 
International Stairway Series. All the way to the finish. Very good round for Peter Charles. Certainly trying that time. 47.92 goes well into the lead with Pal Mal. Sits in first and second place at the moment with one more to come. It is Jeff Luckett and the Old Lodge's Brickfield boy. Jeff, remember, the winner of the first of the qualifiers down at the Devon County Show. This is the horse that's stepped up another level in the last 12 months. And in stepping up, won uh, two good classes at the Olympia International, the London International Horse Show. Also picked up wins for Jeff at the British Open Championship. That was indoors. But again, a very versatile horse. They step up the striding outside. Some horses suited to both indoor and out. Some more suited to one type of show or the other. But Jeff, absolutely acres of experience. Long career. He's been with the likes of the Edgars through the career, as have many. The likes of Ben Mayer, Beat Mandley, Leslie McNaught. That's the kind of company we're in. Needs to fly if he's going to get home faster than Peter Charles. Don't think he's going to do it, but it is a very good round from Jeff Luckett once again. Brickfield boy, 48-42, and a clear round from Jeff. Takes him into second place. But it is a win in the second of the International Stairway Series competitions for Peter Charles. Merkers Palmal at the top of the table. Jeff Luckett into second. Peter Charles is second ride in third. Then to Vicky Tullock in fourth with Solajet and Ryan Prater in fifth, carrying through those four faults with Otage. A packed house watching the show jumping and two very delighted riders with their performance. Peter Charles at the top of the table, Jeff Luckett in second.